Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, it's your boy Mega Crash, and I welcome you guys back to a brand new video. Now, ladies and gentlemen, actually, before we go any further here with the video, I would like to apologize for being late to the party with this specific news. Now, a couple reasons why that is, ladies and gentlemen, is, you know, not only because of my work schedule, but also there was some other stuff that cropped up that I felt took priority over a video like this. But the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, is that what we are here to talk about is an event that is not to take place until this coming Saturday on the 30th of March. So there's still a lot of time to inform you guys and a lot of time to prepare for an event like this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get into the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so it has been announced on the 22nd here of March that we are going to be having a another research event. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I can also say I'm, I'm really, really starting to enjoy the idea of research events because they kind of remind me of another variation of community day events, but rather than having increased spawns of whatever Pokemon is being featured, what is going to be taking place in that period of time announced is research dedicated to that special Pokemon. So this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is what it's all about. What we got going on here is weather-focused limited research featuring Lotad. So with that being said, let's go ahead and let's talk a little bit about this here. Let's actually scroll down here to this glorious article with the details. So Professor Will is looking to conduct limited research on the impact of weather on Pokemon with a focus on the water grass type Pokemon Lotad. So what you gotta do ladies and gentlemen in order to get these research tasks, you have to first off your research task storage has to be empty. So in other words, uh, if you have tasks already, then if you go and spin a new Pokestop, you're not going to get that research task unless, of course, if you delete all of the research quests that you haven't yet completed. Now, with that being said, what you gotta do is you gotta spin the photo disc at nearby Pokestops to obtain field research tasks that lead to encounters with this water weed Pokemon. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it gets better, trust me. You guys are probably thinking, well, you know, okay, like Lotad, you know, ooh, you know, what's so, what's so big about this? Well, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to remind you that the last two times that we have had an event like this, the Pokemon featured has turned out to be shiny, okay? We had the shiny Feebas limited research event back in January, and then we had the special Clamp Pearl research event, which also turned out to be shiny. And even though Niantic didn't announce it to be shiny, it was a nice surprise when we discovered it ourselves that it was in fact shiny. Well, ladies and gentlemen, they pull no punches here because what we got going on here is this. While you're completing research, keep an eye out for other Pokemon that could be impacted by weather conditions as well, such as Cast Form. Now, here's the thing, guys, is that, like I said in the previous section here of this video, this event is to take place on March 30th, starting at 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. in your local time zone. Now, get this, we have ourselves the features listed. Pokemon that appear due to weather conditions will appear more frequently during this event. Limited research tasks will be available when you spin photo discs at Pokestops. Completing the un the limited sorry research task will award you with encounters of Lotad. And last but not least, guys, yo, this right here is why you should be competing in this event. Because if you're lucky, you may encounter shiny Lotad and shiny cast for baby! Woo! See this right here, guys. Yes, that's why I said that's why I've been saying that's why I said that they are not pulling any punches here because they outright announced not one but two shiny Pokemon to be released here in this event. Yo, this is absolutely awesome, man. Oh yeah. And get this also, we actually have ourselves a new move that's gonna be added here to the game as well. The move Weather Ball for Cast Form will be permanently added to the game. So this right here is Cast Form's signature move that is now going to be coming to pass here in Pokemon Go when the event actually starts. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that right there is 
pretty much it here for this event and well for this video but there is a little something else that i do want to touch base with you with you guys on real quick so with that being said let's get to it all right, ladies and gentlemen, so now let's transition to Serebii real quick and give you guys a little bit of news in regards to the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime. You guys know that today is Sunday, and you know what that means? Every Sunday in Japan, we have ourselves a brand new episode of the Pokemon Sun Moon anime that has been released, and this episode features a Pheromosa arriving in the Alola region and stealing everyone's Z crystals. Now, why that is, I'm not entirely sure, but here's the thing. Thing, is that with this episode now being released it's only going to be a matter of time guys before we do our weekly live streaming series where we watch along with everyone here with this episode we watch this episode and we live react and discuss it as it's happening and honestly man i am so so excited for this episode here because like just like in this screenshot here we have pheromosa taking on beware like we already know that beware and pheromosa are gonna just they're, they're gonna mash it up man and i'm really really excited because if you guys know what team rockets beware is like it, this thing is impervious to every sort of obstacle like this thing is super pokemon like this thing is like the super op triple og of pokemon like this pokemon is just wow it's like the immovable object taking on the unstoppable force you know what i'm saying you got the unstoppable force being beware you got the immovable object being pheromosa or it could be the other way around because like it seems like that like based on pheromosa's design a simple gust could knock it over but i mean this pokemon is pretty much the unstoppable force taking on the hard-hitting immovable object it is going to be awesome i cannot wait to see this episode go down now with that being said guys that is going to be a wrap up here for this video so if you enjoyed the video then make sure you smash the like button and subscribe for more content like this and finally guys i want to say thank you guys so much for watching have yourself a good day remember at the end of the day you are awesome so i'll see you next episode